Just like the solid stain materials of Star Wars, there were some very rare creatures that also had the ability to be completely impervious to the cutting power of a lightsaber, and often presented a big threat or in some cases were useful tools to both the Jedi and Sith. Orbalisks Orbiting the planet Onderon was the jungle moon of Duxon, and in the moon's caves and darker places was a creature known as an orbalisk. These creatures were parasites by nature, and would latch upon flesh, growing and reproducing until they covered the host's entire body, and then they would feed upon the host and eventually kill them. The outer shell of an orbalisk was almost indestructible, and lightsabers could not damage or even cut through them, and because of this, the Sith Lord Frieden Nard studied the creatures and discovered a way to keep the orbalisks from attaching to exposed areas of the body as so they could be hidden under garments. Orbalisks were also able to feed upon the dark side of the Force, giving those with the will and the pain endurance the ability to connect with them. This pain would be unlike anything they would ever feel, however if they were able, the Orbalisks would feed off of the Force user's dark side energy and in turn provide them with increased physicality and almost inhuman healing properties as well as a perpetual indestructible armour. However, Orbalisks were extremely susceptible to electricity and could be killed using electrical charges. The Orbalisk parasite is only seen in Star Wars Legends. The Zillow Beast In ancient times, the planet Malastare was dominated by a species of gigantic reptilian creatures that would come to be known as Zillow Beasts. However, like the mythosaurs of Mandalore, the Zillow Beasts were eventually wiped out by the indigenous Dugs, who destroyed their habitats and discovered exploitable weaknesses. The scales of the Zillow Beast that covered its entire body were like armour, and from an external perspective Zillows were invulnerable to blasters, explosions and of course lightsabers. However, gaps between the armour exposed its vulnerable flesh and allowed intelligent beings to overwhelm and even kill them with precise attacks. However, the Zillow Beast was considered long extinct even before the times of the Old Republic, and as such, lightsaber users never truly contended with them. The last known living Zillow Beast lied dormant on the homeworld of the Banathi people who worshipped the beast as their god, but it was killed by Kylo Ren after it was awoken by a short war between the Banathi and the First Order. The Zillow Beast is both legends and canon. Amphistaff and Von Doon Crabs in the far reaches of the universe, in fact another galaxy on the planet Yuzan Tar, the Yuzan Vong bioengineered a race of uniquely organic creatures. Two of them, the Amphistaff, a race of intelligent serpentines and the Von Doon crabs, had an extremely unique gland within their bodies, known as the power gland. The structure of these creatures was semi-crystalline, and the power gland acted as an emitter for an electrical impulse which would reorganise the creature's cell structures and create an energy field which extended from their bodies. This field made these creatures extremely durable and completely impervious to lightsabers. The Von Doon crabs themselves were used as a kind of living armour, worn by the Yuzan Vong, however the Amphistaffs were special. The dangerous, snake-like Amphistaff would become bound to the one brave enough to be its captor and become an extremely dangerous weapon and ally. The Amphistaff could change its physiology, sitting in a solid or flexible state and could change into a variety of forms depending on the encounter. The Amphistaff were used to directly combat lightsaber users whether it was direct one-to-one -one combat as a weapon or in some kind of defensive scenario. Additionally, because of their impervious nature, the Amphistaffs could even wind around the blade of a lightsaber, attacking the user directly. Both the Amphistaff and the Von Doon Crabs are only seen in Legends. The Fireworm Eol Shah was a volcanic mountainous planet in the Outer Rim, and dwelling within the pools of lava across its surface and within its caverns were huge fire-spewing serpents. These creatures, native to Eol Shah, came to be known as Eol Shah Lava Dragons, or more commonly Fireworms. To protect their bodies from the lavas and heats of their habitats, the Fireworms were completely encased in crystalline scales. These scales were also present within their gullets, allowing them to consume lava and spew it back out as a defence. Additionally, lightsabers were unable to cut through these scales, which were completely impervious, and when struck, the coloured plasma of the lightsaber would shatter and spark off of the scales. 
Luke Skywalker found this out when he confronted a fireworm and struck the beast with his own lightsaber to no success. However, despite their impervious natures, these scales were not indestructible, and the blunt force of a lightsaber strike could cause a small section of the dragon's scale to shatter and expose its skin to the lava, which would ultimately kill it. The Eol Shah fireworm is currently only seen in Legends. The Tikulini On the planet Jasbina, mining tunnels were dotted across the world in attempts to harvest rare stones known as sun crystals. However, huge, vicious worms known as Tikulini made their homes within these tunnels and would sometimes cause havoc for the miners. The Tikulini were considered almost extinct, but there were rare instances where the worm monsters would reappear, and when they did, their speed and size would make them an almost unstoppable force. To make things worse, their skin was almost impenetrable by conventional means such as blasters and explosions, with even lightsabers being unable to cut through them, and as such, when they decided to show themselves, stopping these beasts was almost impossible. Currently, the Tikulini can only be found in Star Wars Legends. The Towson, Native to the jungle moon of Art, were gigantic annelid bugs known as the Towson. Although considered extinct, the bugs had an extremely adept skill in manipulating the senses of Force users, making them completely invisible within the Force. Although small in numbers, the Towson were dotted all across the galaxy, meaning finding one was a rarity but when one would come across a Towson, their force invisibility, size, and the fact their outer shells were like armoured plating made these creatures an extreme threat. Not even a lightsaber could cut through the shell of a Towson, nor could blasters damage them or explosions, and killing one would require an extreme level of destructive creativity. Additionally, the nodules within a Towson's body were even used in armaments such as amulets to allow wearers to be invisible within the force, perfect for assassins. The Towson is both legends and surprisingly canon after it appeared in the movie Solo. I really hope you enjoyed the second part of this lightsaber resistance series, but I don't think there will be a third, but if you do have any thoughts, feel free to let me know on what kind of topic I could cover. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons for more, come and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, join the Discord, and I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, may the Force be with you. Always.